Hey Dirty Dan, welcome back to Greasy Boy Customs. If you remember the walk around video I did with the Fiat, we had a brake issue with it. We're gonna go over what we did to the brakes and show you a couple things to look for if you're working on one. Let's take a little bit of a look into it. So this car came in with absolutely no brakes. So we did an inspection and looked for fluid leaks. Typically when you have no brake pressure at all, that means the fluid has leaked out. The customer was already aware that the brake fluid reservoir was cracked and had another one ready to go, which was great. So we inspected the wheels, the lines underneath the car, no signs of leaks anywhere. Then we went to the inside of the car. On this car, the brake master cylinder is actually mounted underneath the dashboard, which makes things a little different. So we had to unbolt the steering column, which was four bolts, and then unbolt the two bolts from the brake pedal, clutch pedal assembly to drop it down, and then we could remove the master cylinder. It wasn't a difficult job, it wasn't super time consuming, but it was difficult for me to get in there. I'm not tall, I'm a little bit bigger around this way, so I had a little bit of a struggle getting in there, but we were able to change it. Got it all back together, and that's when we found another problem. So I went to go bleed the brakes. We used our Mighty Vac pneumatic bleeder, and I couldn't get fluid out of the calipers at the bleeder screws. The first thing you do is take the bleeder screw out and make sure it's not full of corrosion, rust, or any kind of debris. None found. Still wasn't getting fluid. I suspected maybe the master cylinder had failed. So I double checked, made sure all my lines were connected. Everything was fine. And that's when I found something that I missed on the initial inspection. The brake hose themselves that go from the master cylinder reservoir to the master cylinder. One thing about this car, it has a remote master cylinder. Now the master cylinder is over here on this side underneath the dash, right? But that black cap right there on that white container is your brake fluid. You have hoses that run from the reservoir all the way across the cowl and then it goes down into the dash and hooks to the master cylinder. So that's when I disconnected those hoses and got a look at them. This is the old style hose. It's a rubber hose, silicone based with a cloth coating over it and they have completely come apart. I'm going to show you a little bit closer look at them. You can see there they are just absolutely terrible and when you squeeze it together it doesn't even really want to open back up. It's just falling apart and this was causing chunks to clog up the hole so fluid actually wasn't making it to the reservoir. Luckily I was able to find the right hose. It's not the cloth braided over the top but it functions just as well it's a really nice quality thick hose, so it'll stand the test of time, hopefully. And uh, we'll see if we can get another, you know, 40, 50 years out of this one. So we had to take everything back apart, take the lines off, run new lines across it. And then we were able to bleed the brakes out with the Mighty Vac Air Bleeder, which made things tremendously better. Took it for a test drive, brakes are good to go. And now my customer's going to make it to the Good Guys Show in Raleigh. Sorry again, I didn't film me doing all this work. It would have just been 30 minutes of me swearing and losing my shit. So nobody wants to see that. Then again, no, some of you probably did want to see that. Well, I couldn't fit me and a camera in there. I'm, I'm too big for that. Till next time, happy hot rodding.